Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create really easy chord progressions and chord rhythm ideas using MIDI Effects Record, which is a brand new feature that was added to Logic Pro 10.7.5. So the way this feature works is you add a MIDI effects plugin to a software instrument track. I'll go ahead and add the chord trigger to this track. And then what you do is you click here, and then you go down here and you select record MIDI to track here. What this will do is it'll actually record any of the data from the chord trigger or any other MIDI effects plugin down to the track. So when this records to this region, it's actually going to record the chord trigger into the region. So let me demonstrate this without. I've got a bass line here in A minor, and if I were to just play single notes and follow along with the bass line, it would sound something like this. So I'm just playing one note at a time, and the only thing that's being recorded into the MIDI region is just single notes. So if I go back in here and I add that chord trigger back in, and this time I'm going to go up to the presets here. I'm going to go to multi. I'm going to go to keyboard voicings, and I'll select diatonic right hand chords. And what this does is it transforms each note that you play into a fully voiced chord. One thing to note here is that these diatonic chord presets and chord trigger only work in C major or A minor. So if you want to work in another key, you're going to have to adjust the chord transpose here. But you can always start in A minor or C major and then transpose to another key later. Okay, so let's say that's a bit too high for me. What I'm going to do is go ahead and remove this MIDI record to track option, and I'm going to add the transposer after this. I'm going to drop this down an octave. And again, you could transpose to a completely different key here if you like. And then instead of recording from the chord trigger, I'm going to record from the transposer instead. And so now the chord trigger and the transposer will both be recorded into my new MIDI region. So now when I go into this MIDI region that was just recorded, you can see that all of the MIDI data from the chord trigger is there, including the transposition down an octave. I did play one erroneous note here, so I'll go ahead and delete that. And then I can just quantize the notes as I typically would. I can do any trimming or editing that I might want to do. And I've built a full chord progression just using single notes on my MIDI controller and just tapping into the power of this new MIDI record function. And what's great about this is even if you don't have a really good grasp of music theory, or maybe you're not a great keyboard player, you can still get fully voiced chord progressions just by playing individual notes on your MIDI controller. What this is also great for is creating rhythmic ideas with chords, because playing full chords rhythmically is much more difficult to do than to just play individual notes rhythmically. And once again, all of those rhythms and chords are recorded into my MIDI region, so I can quantize these as I normally would, maybe adjust their velocities a bit just like so. And I can even alter the chord voicing if I don't like these higher chords up here. Maybe I'll just drop some of these notes down an octave for a lower voicing. Now, once you've recorded MIDI, you do not need to remove the MIDI effects plugins, everything that comes before this orange marker here will not be interpreted by the track. You would then have to go and turn this off, and now these MIDI effects plugins are going to interpret 
the MIDI data from the track. So in this case, now we would want to bypass these. But as long as that orange marker is there, you do not have to bypass the MIDI effects plugins. So that's it for this tutorial. That's how you can create easy chord progressions and chord rhythms using MIDI effects record in Logic Pro 10.7.5. If you want to see more detailed tutorials on all of the new features in Logic 10.7.5, I've created a completely free 10-part course over at macprovideo.com, where I do deep dives on each of the new updates in Logic 10.7.5. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching.